Okay, guys, I'm going to put this video out for all you Horizon, the old Horizon 600s that have the problem with the reverse. When you go to pull up the anchor, the unit locks up, and then it'll uh, go forward and drop the anchor just fine, but when you go to uh, pull back the anchor, the thing stops and most guys think that they've got a problem with a motor, a solenoid, or some other problem. And in fact, this is the culprit right here, this bearing inside the housing of the motor, right inside there. This is the shaft that the spline goes through. According to Lawrence, to avoid the anchor drag, or the winch spinning when you're anchored, this nut threads back on the shaft and is supposed to lock the motor in place, keep it from rotating or spinning. What happens is that this shaft here, this bearing freezes up, and when this nut comes all the way back, it locks the whole motor assembly, the armature, and it won't let the motor move because this bearing right there freezes up. According to Lawrence, this bearing is no longer made. I was able to take it apart. I'm in the process of cleaning it right now. Looks like I'm going to be able to get it all working again. I'll know once I put it back together. But I know this is a problem that's been driving a lot of guys nuts with these older winches. It's a shame to just toss them because you can't get parts for them. And uh, that's what I was about to do with mine until I said, well, you know what, let me take a chance and pull it apart and see how this thing works. And that's what I discovered. I've shot it a couple times with some uh, PV blaster silicone lubricant. I've been able to get most of the corrosion off and it's actually working. So I'm going to take this whole plate and I'm going to soak it for a day or so. Grease it up and put it all back together. I'll let you know how this, uh, how this thing comes out. Alright guys, little update on that bearing for the windlass it appears that bearing there is a thrust bearing in other words it spins in one direction freely and then it locks up in the other so when I took it apart to clean it uh, I discovered that and you have to be very very careful if you do try it so it doesn't fall apart because there's plastic spacers and between the rollers that actually act as the locking mechanism. I don't know why they make this thing so damn complicated. But anyway, uh, I've got it pretty much freed up. I just added some more PB Blaster in there. I'm going to let it hang out for a few hours. Maybe put it back together tomorrow. And uh, But I think this is, this is the fix. And um, a lot of guys are tossing their winches out because they believe that it's a motor problem and this is the culprit that spline screw and the thrust bearing if you're able to get those two clear I think that's gonna solve your problem alright guys good luck